Hi Sagittarius, how are you guys doing? I hope everybody is doing well. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Let's see what's going on in your love life, Sagittarius. Let's see what comes out in the cards for you today. Um, please remember to flip and switch the roles as they apply to your situation. Also, um, take what resonates and leave what does not fit, okay? It's not going to be everybody's story. So let's see, for Sagittarius spirit, what is going on with Sagittarius in love? What is going on with Sagittarius in love? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please give me clear message, messages for Sagittarius spirit. Let's see. Okay, messages for Sagittarius in love. Okay. We have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Okay, so something that can be very one-sided. Okay, it hasn't been, um, this person hasn't been showing you the love that you have showed them. Okay. What else for Sag? We have separation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. And then we have express your love. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. Yeah, I feel like somebody, then, then it says this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Yeah, so this this is your person here, Sagittarius, but it seems like this person is scared to express how they feel. Okay, it seems like vulnerability is a problem here with this person. They really want to express how they feel towards you because I feel like they've been holding it in for a while now. This is what's caused, uh, what has caused the separation between you two though the fact that this person is not being real with you about their feelings and how they feel okay so i feel like the time apart that you spent from this person they have came to the conclusion that you're actually the one <laughs> you're actually a soulmate okay you're actually the one that they want to be with and now they feel like they need to express themselves so let's see what's going on in love with the Sagittarius Please and thank you. What's going on? Sagittarius in love. Yeah, with the two of cups and the star, they definitely want to heal this connection. What is going on for Sagittarius in love? Okay, we have the magician, the lovers, the four of cups, the empress. Yeah, strong connection. Ace of cups. Five of Wands, Five of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. Bottom of the deck, we have Three of Cups, yeah. So what you don't see coming is the fact that there's a reconciliation coming. <laughs> this person wants to reconcile with you, okay. Um, they're definitely dreaming about you here. This person is thinking about you a lot. All right, but yeah, you don't see this coming. You could be dealing with the Gemini, a Taurus or Libra, or a um, Cancer or Pisces. Or Virgo too as well. So yeah, what's going on here is that this person or there, there's something um, powerful about this connection. This could be a counterpart, you and this person. But you guys definitely have a, a, a strong sexual bond along with the emotional bond here. Um, this person is manifesting a new beginning with you in love. Some of you guys could be getting new love because this person breadcrumbed you, didn't really give you what you deserved. But for others of you, I feel like for most of you, this is going to be a renewal of love here. Um, somebody is definitely manifesting a new beginning. I feel like maybe both of you are with this magician, okay? Um, so there is definitely some love coming in from this person. Um, with the lovers in the five of wands, there could have been some competition, okay? Somebody trying to get in the way of this connection here. Uh, but you guys definitely have a very strong bond. It could have been a choice between two, which has caused an interruption in this connection, okay? But I do feel like there's there has been people trying to break up such a divine connection. I do feel that way. Um, you and this person could have been fighting a lot here. Okay. You and this person could have definitely been arguing a lot. But I don't really feel like that. I feel like it's outsiders with this five of wands. I just feel like um, people are jealous of this connection that you have with this person. So they are trying to get in the way of it. I feel like something here is balanced out now, though, with the lovers. I feel like it's a, a balance of um, feminine and masculine energies in the both of you guys, okay? But you guys definitely have a strong connection, too, a strong um, sexual connection here, 
with the four of cups and the five of pentacles i feel like i, I feel like there's an energy of because this person i don't know if they, they left you out in the cold they ignored this offer here okay and soon they they realize that you're their divine feminine you're the, their divine counterpart but um they feel like that you're going to leave them out in the cold here and ignore their offer um somebody here could still be feeling a little upset about what has happened in the past okay why you know why they why this person here neglected you there could have been just a lot of conflict here in this connection you guys could be seeing five five but a lot of conflict but a lot of changes being made as well i feel like this connection um this separation has helped someone realize something about this this connection itself and themselves and how they sabotage this here um with the empress and the high priestess yeah somebody is definitely highly attracted to you here they find you to be the sexiest person ever some of you guys could definitely be very spiritual and do spiritual work here um sagittarius but somebody is trying to listen to their intuition when it comes down to you they feel like you're very mysterious you're very mystique but you also have this side to you that's very loving very very caring very giving okay i feel like you offer this person a lot of love but they sabotage this by um letting other people get in the way or whatever the case is okay so let's clarify this stuff yeah this person they don't know what you're up to okay but they they could possibly want to get you pregnant too with the empress and the high priestess they definitely some of you all could actually be pregnant by this person but they definitely are highly attracted to you so let's see what is this magician in the ace of cups what is this magician in the ace of cups for um sagittarius high priestess again you guys could be saying two two as well what is the magician in the ace of cups for sagittarius oh shit okay so the nine of cups one more for the magician in the ace of cups and the six of swords yeah so this person has realized that you are their wish fulfillment i feel like this connection is definitely very strong but this person has realized that you're everything that they're, they're completely satisfied and content and happy with you like they don't need to look anywhere else okay i feel like this is a wish fulfillment for both of you okay for some of you that is here or right, just take what resonates but um yeah somebody this person could live at a distance from you so they could be traveling towards you but they definitely are moving towards you here with the six of swords because you're their happiness you you make them very very happy they feel like they found a treasure they feel like they found a rare gift a diamond in the rough like they're not going to find this connection anywhere else so here they come <laughs> they're coming with the six of swords yes yeah, you know with all this yellow i just feel like you're going to be happy when this person returns you're going to be very um fulfilled when this person returns um i feel like it's going to be a big sigh of relief okay and i feel like for some of you it's going to be a very emotional gathering with all these feelings here that somebody wants to pour out to you yeah somebody feels like they found the one okay what is the lovers with the five of wands spirit for sagittarius what is the lovers with the five of wands yeah, nine of pentacles in reverse and the eight of cups yeah <laughs> so this is just giving me that this person could have been like in a karmic relationship or was fighting and fussing with the karmic that they just could not detach from okay there could have been some issues about finances here this person could have been in a codependent relationship or married to someone just for money purposes only it's like they were in something just for money purposes okay that this is a karmic tie that this person had to learn so i feel like they're walking away from this here with the eight of cups somebody's definitely walking away from the fighting the arguing the fussing they don't want to deal with this here so they're ending this karmic cycle i definitely feel that it's been a long time coming but they're they've they've they're healing from this and they're moving away um yeah I, f I feel like if they were in a connection with someone else this could have been just a sex and money type of thing there were really no emotions here because somebody was very emotionally unfulfilled like they were not happy here at all 
and I don't even think they were happy with the sex because it's just toxic. If the shit is just toxic, I mean, anybody can have sex with you. What else can you bring to the table, you know? So I feel like somebody is just, they're walking away. This person here could be struggling financially, but they just took this L, okay? Um, because they're not dealing with th that, you know, that connection anymore. Um, this person here, I, f I feel that they're walking away from the fact that they just wanted to focus on their money and their independence. Okay, they really tried to ignore this connection because they wanted to be that way. They just wanted to focus on their money. But they're seeing that this love is outweighing the material wealth that they are, quote unquote, trying to get to. Okay, they're ignoring the highest vibration of everything. Money does not outweigh love at all okay so i feel like this person is realizing that as well but they, they could also be realizing that they marry because the nine of pentacles in reverse could mean a feminine or masculine energy that marries for money so somebody here was marrying just for money purposes only and i feel like that's what the fight was about okay and this person has been trying to leave this person for a while and i feel like you're the reason why they're leaving because this is just um this person met you you met this person and you show them a love that they haven't gotten from anyone, especially from this karmic. So let's see, what is this four of cups with the five of pentacles? What is this four of cups with the five of pentacles? Six of cups, what is this four of cups? So we have the knight of swords and the six of cups. So, and then we have the moon. Eight of Swords. Hmm. So, um, yeah, I feel like this person is leaving this person out in the cold, okay? Um, I feel like this person, like somebody here had to do some inner child healing before this connection can, can be anything, you know? Um, this person, you know, somebody here is rushing in. It could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. doesn't have to be, but somebody is definitely rushing in to restart this connection i feel like the, you know somebody here wants to talk or there needs to be an honest conversation about what has happened in the past here um this person has missed a lot of opportunities with you and i feel like they don't want to miss anymore i feel like you're you're not going to know how to feel when this person shows back up okay because they ignored you so you're just like okay well why are you back but i feel like for some of you that know bits and pieces of what has been going on with this person you're going to kind of understand and let this person at least talk to you about whatever this is but i feel like somebody definitely wants to have a conversation and bring justice back to the situation um somebody here is very discontent where they're at they feel left out in the cold <laughs> they feel they feel very unhappy they're very very unhappy and so they're having nostalgia you're all that they can think about here okay I feel like this person has definitely been very loyal to you, though, in some aspect. I do feel like with these two dogs here, this person has definitely been loyal to you. Okay? That's for some of you, not all of you. I mean, some some of you, this person definitely cheated or did something stupid. And, you know, I just feel like that's karmic. But anyways, yeah. So there, this person could be dreaming about you. So now it's just like, okay, I can't take it anymore. I'm rushing in because I need to get my person back. <laughs> they They don't like being away from you. They're very unhappy. And they're ignoring every offer that's coming to them because their focus is on you. Okay, so let's see. What is this Empress with the High Priestess? What is the Empress with the High Priestess? Five of Swords. And then we have the Wheel. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, I feel like somebody's self-sabotaging behaviors is just changing. Somebody is changing. Somebody here is a little stressed too, though. There's a lot of changes happening. Somebody here could be having migraines, headaches, okay? Really going through a tough time. I feel like there's like a, some type of awakening going on. Um, but I don't know. Somebody's really, really stressed about this Empress person. Um, they see that they definitely... I feel like somebody is very disappointed in themselves for how they treated you. They definitely sabotage this. Um, there could have been some gossip around this connection, you know, with these birds in this person's ear or talking, you know, at this person's head here. It's like somebody was listening maybe to someone else about this person. Okay, and I feel like I feel like this empress here already knows the truth. 
So all they they really can do is like say, damn, like, you know, I might as well fess up because I need to tell this person what has happened. Yeah, with this page of cups, they want to tell you, you know, offer you an apology. They do. I feel like, you know, if you're this empress person, you're very confused about this person. Like your intuition is telling you a lot, but you're still confused because you're not getting the 3D action that you need to get to see, you know, figure this shit out. Okay. I feel like that's the issue here. You need this person to kind of like confirm things for you. And um, there's some changes being made though. There's definitely some changes being made. This person is rushing in to talk to you. But let's see what else for Sagittarius spirit. What else can we get for Sagittarius? Let's see what else. Bottom of the deck, we have yeah, change, transition. Yeah, so divine feminines, you guys could be going through a lot of changes here. Um, there's some good luck and good fortune coming to coming to you. Okay. But I feel like this this issue here with this with your love life is kind of like getting on your nerves because you don't know what's going on. Yeah, and then we have regret mistakes. So this person definitely regrets something that they've done here. But they're trying to make the necessary changes. Yeah. Then we have addiction, unhealthy attachment. So they had an unhealthy attachment to something. They could have been addicted to different things. Sex, drugs, money, materialistic things, okay? Could have been putting that before this connection. What else? For Sagittarius. We have divine timing. Believe in right timing. Okay, then we have crossroads, direction. So somebody here could have been trying to make a choice between you and someone else or trying to figure out which way to go with this connection here. We have freedom, surrender, yeah, hook up, one night stand. And then we have courage, strength. So this person probably would, you know, because the sexual energy is very strong here. So this person could have thought that you were just going to be a one night stand and come to find out you're their whole match. <laughs> so, I mean, you're, you're, you're for them. So it's like, this is why they've been so confused. They're like, what the fuck are these feelings I'm feeling? I don't even know. <laughs> but um, somebody here could have cheated on someone too, though. To be honest okay but things had to shift in divine timing i feel like you guys have gone your separate ways and i've learned a lot about yeah third party influence and then we have like, safety comfort yeah you make this person feel at home this third party definitely trying to get in the way of you too yeah then we have love strong affection missing thinking of you Marriage, sacred union, single, not in a relationship, not in relationship, okay, that's good to know, shit, hurting, agonizing pain, mm. then we have non-committal, independent, yeah, I told you somebody, somebody was focused on their independence, they were definitely not trying to get in a relationship, but now that shit is changing, oh, I gotta sneeze, <clears throat> then we have bliss, happiness, so, I feel like the changes here are going to make you happy, Sag, if you want this person back. Then we have magnetic attraction, passion. Yeah, definitely a strong magnetic magne magnetic <laughs> bond that you have with this person. So, okay. Okay, um, Sag, so this was your reading. I hope it resonated. If it did, like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your notification bell, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.